Uh, I mean, it was fun getting back at getting back out there on the court and uh, just playing basketball again. Uh, that was the first game I won since like March. So it was just fun getting out there and, and competing with my brothers for the first time. Coach Mack has said that you have a nose for the ball. You seem to follow a lot of shots and I grab a lot of rebounds. Mm-hmm. Is that just how you've always played? Is, is try to do as much as possible? Or was there something that Bellerman was doing as far as leaving space for you to, to be able to do that tonight? Um, I think I've always kind of played that way uh, since I've gotten here. Uh, the coaching staff has has preached to me going to the offensive glass, and uh, you know that's what I'm trying to do. Just you know make every impact I can on the game to help my team win. And then you know a lot of times the shot goes up, I'll just try to read it just to see if it's going to be short or long, and so I can you know time up my jump and go with the offensive rebound. Dwayne, Dwayne, when the time was running down and you were still kind of game, I mean, how? What, what was the urgency like to coach the thing out and get this win? Uh, it was very urgent. Uh, you know, Coach Max preached finishing the whole preseason. Uh, you know, last year we let some games slip away. Uh, and this year we want to make sure that didn't happen. Um, I think Darius did a good job of handling handling the ball, handling pressure. And also, Fresh Kimball did a good job of managing the game as well. Jordan and Dwayne, y'all played the same position, close to it as uh, Sam. What did you all think of his debut, and what, what did you bring to the court out there? Uh, I think Sam played great. Uh, you know, Sam's a guy who can score at three levels, um, but more importantly, I think Sam did a great job on the defensive end. Um, he got five offensive rebounds, which we needed. We needed every one of those against a great team like Bellarmine tonight, and um, he showed up and showed up. Uh, yeah, same thing. Uh, he did a great job on offense. You know, it took his time. You know, made the right reads. Like Wayne said, was a was a heck of a offensive rebound offensive rebounder, and uh, he locked it on D. So, you know, it's, it's a great game for you know his first game. How were you feeling when you went on that run with those few threes in a row to kind of uh, get a little bit of a lead up? I mean, uh, it, was, it was pretty close at that point. Yeah, um, it o- it always feels good to go on a run like that. You know, we needed it, so you know I'm glad we went on it. You know, Bellman's a good a really good team. I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of success this year, so. No, I'm happy it came at the right time and we were able to close out the game. Wayne, I know you had said that you had practiced playing at the five before, but what was it like actually spending most of your time um, at that position tonight? Um, it was a little bit different, uh, but it was needed for our team today against a good Bellarmine team. Um, the, the past week, I've been doing a good job in practice at the five because we knew Steve wasn't going to be able to play today. Um, I think my teammates did a good job of getting me the ball down low. And I just made some good plays and finishing some layups. Sam, this was your first time getting to play a team like Bellarmine. So what did you see out there? You just seen the way they like to move. So how difficult is it to play a team like Bellarmine? Man, I mean, it's extremely difficult. You know, teams that are very disciplined, you know, they have possession where they pass the ball 10, 12 times, and they're constantly moving and cutting. Um, and quite honestly, it's frustrating to play against. You know, you know I remember in high school, my uh, Crosstown rival team, they played just like Bellarmine. And, you know, they got a lot of shooters, you know, they're not the most athletic team, but they're, they're really disciplined and they play well. And that, that's credit to them and the coaching staff. Jordan. Jordan, when Tawan Bell was here, what's going to be the biggest emphasis between now and next week? Um, just continuing to compete every day in practice. Um, blocking it on the def- defensive end, as you saw today, we let a lot of things get into the paint, whether it was drives or, you know, somebody posting up. So. That's going to be the biggest thing. You know, obviously we didn't have Steve or Malik out there to really protect the rim. We still did, we still need to do a better job, though. Um, that's probably going to be a big emphasis, just keeping teams out of the paint and really, you know, tightening up on defense. In between the, the scrimmage and the exhibition game tonight, is there something you guys, this, this Friday, is there something you feel like specifically there's something you guys just have struggled with those two those two games? Um, I think from the scrimmage to now, um, the scrimmage came back kind of lackadaisical um, against Ohio State. Um, and Coach Mack preached, he was preaching uh, competitiveness and, you know, urgency. And I think tonight we came out with a sense of urgency uh, against a great Bellarmine team. I think that's ultimately why we ended up winning by 10. Anything else? I got one. Just okay. one more. Last question right here. Dwight, Coach Davenport has some good things to say about you. You know him. How do you all go back? Uh, what's that relationship like? Uh, Coach Davenport is one of my first basketball offers coming out of high school. Um, I've 
pretty sure it was my first official visit to a D2 school, uh, and I have a great deal of respect for him. Uh, he believed in me, and I had the opportunity to go there. But I chose to go somewhere else, and I'll, I'm a fan of his, and I'll, I'll remain close to him for sure. Thank you all. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.